Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers! In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter that's been built and tested in, in survival mode, and it's called the HGG Falcon, which is this lovely thing I'm currently driving. So it's a hydrogen powered ship with enough thrusters for you to maneuver around in all directions, we've got two auto cannons and two rail guns, and a lovely sleek design. So press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the HGG Falcon is 359 small blocks using the decorative block. DLC pack. We've got a little bit of information about it where it states it's survival ready and tested, it uses no mods, it's printer friendly, and it's got remote control, which is always useful if you end up getting stuck on the ground without any jetpack fuel and your ship is still in the air. Happened to me quite a few times, and it's always a problem. Anyway, giving this thing a thumbs up, we'll move around towards the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, we'll then test out, see the controls it has, then maybe just slam it into an asteroid if no pirates spawn. So at the very front, what we can see is our industrial cockpit to drive this thing around with a camera right above there to help aim your guns and to get a good view ahead of you of what's going on. To the left and right of that is our auto cannons, and to the left and right of that, we've got our rail guns to blast your enemies with. It was a turn off my light and turn around onto the side. This is all we can see. We've got some fantastic block work just covering up all of our internals. There's the start of many hydrogen thrusters that go all the way around this ship. There is the side of our railgun and has been covered up by some armored panels. Some lovely grey, yellow and white steel blocks, even more hydrogen thrusters for our left and right. And then as we were to move along towards the back, we can see a hydrogen tank right in the middle. Around towards the very back, we can see two large hydrogen thrusters, a couple of small ones and a connector to dot this thing up. That connector is a little bit towards the ship, where you might end up damaging whatever you're connecting up to, unless it is on a piston, or you turn off those large thrusters and rely on the small ones next to them. Yes, moving all the way up and looking down, a couple more hydrogen thrusters, we can see a black stripe going all the way through the middle and across our hydrogen tank. We're going along towards the very front, there's a couple more hydrogen thrusters, there's our industrial cockpit, coming down and underneath it, putting my light on. This is all we can see. So once again, you guess it, more hydrogen thrusters, there's the bottom of the tank, it does leave it a little bit exposed on the bottom, but then towards the back there, there's our connector and two large thrusters to push us around. And so there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside of the HGG Falcon. That looks great. How's all been set up? It's got a nice lot of firepower, a nice lot of fuel on here, a nice lot of thrusters. So it should do very well in survival mode. You could always slap on a few more things on here if you wanted to. Could make a nice flat surface on the top or use the bottom section below the hydrogen tank to put a turret if you want some automated firepower. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character. Come into first person view. These are what we get. So we've got 100 power usage, our meters per second, our planetary and atmospheric gravity, and down below there it's a weird targeting thing, but I still don't know what it's called. But anyway, bring up the HUD, these are the controls we get. We've got three tabs to go through. Wait, number one, it's going to be for our auto cannons, find them both together. Number two is going to be for our rail guns, where, like usual with a small ship, it is going to have enough force to push you backwards. Number three is for our magnetic plates to lock ourselves down on. Number four is for our connector at the back there to lock and unlock it. Number 5 is for our hydrogen thrusters, so we can turn them off, move forwards, and we'll go into a cruise control. Turn it back on, we'll come to a stop. Number 6 for our camera above our cockpit, so we can get a good view of what's going on ahead of us. Number 7 is for our beacon on and off. Number 8 is for our hydrogen tank to stop power on and off. Number 9 is for our batteries to auto or recharge. And on tab number 2, we've got a remote control block, so we get the same controls as what we just went through, but from the remote control. On to tab number 3, we've then got our parachutes to manually open and close them if you need to do that. We then got our O2H2 generator on and off, our antenna on and off, our beacon, hydrogen tank and batteries once again. And there we go. So that is that for the controls, nice and simple stuff. So we're going to fly it around, see how it flies, then find a nearby asteroid. In fact, for the moment, what I'm going to do- Ooh, I actually saw a space pirate! They actually spawned for once when I wanted them! They're somewhere in that direction, we just have to wait for them popping again. But anyway, moving forwards, this is the speed we get. As you expect from having two large hydrogen thrusters at the back, we are bloody fast. Come to a stop, we are a lot slower, but luckily we do have the gyroscope we chose to do a 180, boost forwards and stop ourselves in a much more quicker time. Moving left, then moving right, we've got some fantastic speed with that, some really good speed compared to a lot of ships of a similar size. Moving down, and moving up, again, some fantastic speed, which is always nice to have. And as for gyroscope controls, as you saw when I did a 180, We've got some fantastic control all the way around this, just a slight hint of weight, a very slight, to give it a bit of meat to the controls. We're still very responsive and it should do very well in combat. 
As for that, it's now time to fly over to where those space pirates are. And using the camera, I might be able to make them out. They could be over there near that asteroid. I have a feeling they're going to be slightly higher up. So I'm going to sit here, wait for them to actually pop their signal again. Then I'll start flying over. So here we are. I found the space pirate made a signal. And look at that. It was actually quite interesting because I could see that solar panel from such a distance away that it gave it away. But I'm not actually sure what this is. It looks very odd because I don't think the textures have loaded properly. But it seems like we've got a wreckage of some kind. We can see the solar panel on two sides. We can see a gun up there. And we are about one kilometer out. I do need to slow this thing down. So I'm going to do a 180. And now we're just going to come to a stop and get a good view of what's going on with it. So we've got two connection points over there. Another one up there. There is the turret. And down below there is a secondary turret. It looks like there's going to be a base inside this asteroid. Now I don't have any kind of the modular encounter system mod installed. So I don't actually think I've seen one of these before. I might have done. But anyway, we're going to come up to it. I'm going to activate the rail guns. We're going to come back into here. And there we are. We can see it's sort of coming round. It wants to face towards me. I'm not actually sure if it's going to attack me. Oh, it is going to attack me. I need to reverse this thing up as fast as possible. We can see all the shots coming towards me. That should be out of range. But it should mean that I am in range for manually firing the rail guns. So I'm going to aim up just a little bit. Now I'm going to click it. And there we go. That was a nice damage. And I believe the turret has been fully disabled. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to aim down to here. There is the other turret looking ominously towards me. And that was quite a drop on it. So aim slightly higher. And fire it one more time. Once it's fully charged. And here we go. That was a nice bit of damage. But I don't think I took out the turret. I think I'm going to have to use the auto cannons for this. I can now start to move towards it while shooting it. It's going to be a really big waste of ammo. But there we go. We've lost our camera. And I believe... I believe the turret has been saved, but it looks like there is another turret on there, so I'm going to come down and blow the asteroid. I can't actually see anything too much because they have disabled the camera. It would be great to have a spotlight on there, but there is their sneaky one in there. Pushing to the railgun, firing into that. Now we're going to get a bit closer. Hopefully I can disable that before they take out the cockpit. And there it goes that. It looks like we have lost our thr front thrusters. That was a hard sentence to say. Can't really slow down too well. I've got to find out which way I'm going. And hopefully... Ah, there we go. That should do quite nicely. Then looking around to where that asteroid was. I think it's this one over here. <laughs> I've completely lost it because the signals are gone. If I get a bit closer, can't really slow down in time. Now coming around it, there is the solar panel. Over here is their connection point. Let's get a bit closer look at this. And wow, look at that. Oh, there's another gun there. Let's go and try and shoot that with our rail guns. Missed that completely. We've only got one auto cannon, so we've got to try and be a bit careful while aiming that. And there we go, I fully disabled this pirate outpost. And it looks like the only thing left to do with this ship is of course to ram it straight into their doorway. And that will be that. So it's a lovely little ship, you do wish to use a small fighter in survival mode. It once again has been tested and built for survival mode, so it should last you a nice long time. It's got enough places on here to easily customize it with what you need. And there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around yourself. Highly recommend you do. And well, that was a sudden acceleration. And not too much damage done to the base. But anyway, that is that for the HGG Falcon. There'll be a link to the description below, as I said. And thank you all for watching. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye-bye.